like why do you think this whole topic is so important from from an engineer's perspective i think it's i think if you push back ai yeah, tools are not getting interested it's kind of like the same to saying yeah i don't need internet i have books <laughs> i have books with like uh in, amazing engineers that wrote like fundamental that is still use sure mm -hmm. but there is so much happening on the internet are you are you sure you can you know afford that's the, that's really about that is that i really do believe that in a couple of years they're going to be people that i was that was curious about those tools and and the problem again now don't get me wrong i'm not saying that you should watch every single tool that is there every month and try them out right because a lot of them die or a lot of them gets really, you know, really better. So, but I think having, you know, an healthy habit to every three months reevaluate um, your tool set and say, hey, maybe this part, not, not changing everything, but this part could be included within my workflow, mm -hmm. right? And would it, would it be improving? Because I, so I feel like if you, if you change everything over every time, then you're just learning new workflow and you're getting, you know, <laughs> to a paradox where it's just because you have new tools that you're getting slow. Mm -hmm. um, so I think finding the right balance, but it's inevitable that you're going to be, uh, you, you're just going to be um, out of the equation compared to people that knows how to use those tools in a couple of years. It's a slow, you know, progression, but I, I do see it. But so, so it's basically the... Uh, I, th I think a nice summary would be to know enough to become dangerous. Exactly. And then, yeah, then you're fine.